The views and opinions expressed on From the Mouths of Madness are that of the panel and not of the Geeks Under the Influence Network or their sponsors. Listeners, beware. Straight from the mouths of madness, I'm low down. With me, as always, is F. You Hunter. What's up, you Satan worshiping bitches? Satan worshiping motherfuckers. Yeah. And witches? I guess there was witch all of a sudden. Satan, yeah, witches and bitches. And I, like somehow raped by Satan, but not raped by Satan. What was what was that about? Yeah. It was like blood on the stomach, and then getting like I think mouth. She drank some Satan. She drank. Yeah, she drank, drank some Satan. All right, there's a Satan cum in that blood. <laughs> uh, yeah, so gross. put uh, that in your head. <laughs> so gross. Fuck. All right. Before we get too deep into this film, I'd first ask you to please like, comment, share, rate, review, subscribe across all the socials. It greatly helps us out, and you know, just takes you a quick second. Thank you so much. If you love listening to us, it means the world. Yeah. Or, or I mean, you know, hey, you can like literally review and, and say like, you fucking suck. Guys, I wish you drink some Satan cum. Like, yeah, yeah. And, and, and it's totally cool. Because <laughs> good publicity is, I mean, bad publicity is still good publicity. Yeah. Or publicity, period. Yes. No, I'm just joking. Um, all right, so tonight on The Chopping Block, we're going to be talking about 2009's film, The House of the Devil. Bam. Dun, dun, dun. Directed by Ty, Ty West. West. Like, yeah, and starring, well, co-starring Greta Gerwig, who has yeah. literally recently became like a multimillionaire. With Barbie. Yeah. That's, she directed Barbie, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know how well her movies did before that, but I looked through kind of her cue and I was like, no, Barbie, and lots of money. It doesn't matter what dude, her other Barbie. movies did. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Like, dude, but, she, <laughs> but she stars in this film to which she gets like her whole fucking face blown off. So, yeah. She start, every, see, everyone starts in horror, man. Yeah. Like, because, I mean, I know she had stuff before this, but. That's I mean, the way, but that's the way to go about it. You dude, know? like, uh, but that, so. That's crazy. That yeah. Greta Gerwig was in this, and oh, she's direct. She's supposed to direct the new Snow White. Yeah, she's also in uh, a lot of Noah Bomb or whatever movies before she started directing. Noah Bomb, Squid and the Whale, shit like that. I don't know. Like I don't know any of that Wes stuff. Anderson, but more depressing. Oh God. Yeah. Oh no. See, I don't know any of that. Yeah. No. So okay, Barbie. <laughs> yeah, and, and uh, Barbie. Yeah, and Barbie. All right. Anyway, so all right, for out of the gate, you know, Ty West. Uh, I guess I guess the cinematographer and First, him had a really good conversation because, bro, like I think he just had kind of idea, and uh, you know I'd never seen this before. The first time I watched it, mm-hmm. kind of kicking myself as much as I loved X and how X was shot and felt like the fucking seventies. This movie, oh, this does a way better job. I mean, this X this movie, crush, this movie, the way he it. shot it because it, it it takes place in the eighties and you have the eighties style, but he shot it like the fucking sixties, like straight up close up pull away. Like, there's some shots in there. I'm just like, dude, you could have, like, straight up, it looks like scenes from, like, The Exorcist. Yeah. Not, like, w- like outside the house scenes. Ooh, or Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Exactly. That stank yeah, on it. it you it know, like, really... I'm talking about, obviously, the Donald Southern one. Thank you very much. But you can tell he really wanted to take this and make it look like it's, like, a genre movie yeah, from the 60s. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 God. Like, or 70s, yeah. Seven. I mean, but again, like, because, you know, a movie coming out in the 80s, they were still using, like, late 70s technology, right? Early yeah. 80s. So this is definitely shot in, in the vein of an early 80s film. You watch this and you're like, this came out in 2009? Yeah. Exactly. No, uh, He does an amazing job with it. Yeah, 100%. And, I mean, it basically follows a college chick who's trying to get her own apartment because her roommate's a fucking shit bag. Oh, her is roommate- she? I mean, fucking, and then put a sock, and then, and then, literally, I think the boyfriend's like, you know, I'm round, I'm ready for round two if you want, you know, want me to fuck and she's you. She's like, but it's it's daytime, and then they giggle. I'm like, no, fuck that. They gotta have some sort of r- r- like boundary, man. She's trying to get the fuck out, out of that. that. You don't want like, oh, and then her side of the room, bro, was disgusting. Yeah. Fuck. I mean, there's a straight line. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we do get a little cameo at the beginning with uh, D. Wallace. D. Wallace. Fuck yeah. yeah. You know, like I was thinking, I would totally get her to sign. Uh, like of all the things you could add to her, you know, for her to it's sign. It's always fun to kind of get him random things. Like I got, uh, what's her name, Barbara Cram- Cram- to design. You're next. Yeah. Now she's yeah. the mom in it. Like you know what I mean. Like, but you know, something like that that's not the norm. I think is kind of fun when you go to a con. Yeah, but yeah, exactly. And for those that have seen this and didn't think about it, like everyone's like the howling ET. But she's done. Like I mean, we talked well, obviously Cujo, and we talked about. Oh, uh, I'm gonna get her signed Rick Christmas if I ever get her. I was signed gonna say we, we we when did we release that? Like two years ago. Yeah. Like two years ago, twenty twenty one, yeah, the Red Christmas. Um, this if you if you if you dig this film, um, yeah. But she's 
just in for a bit, but just pretty much the whole setup is is that our our main chick is like, I need to get the fuck out of this yeah. shitty. She finds a good apartment place, so I need to get a place. D Wallace plays like a landlord slash mother. She was very mothering. She's like, I get it. Like, you know, my 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 daughter was your age once too. Yada yada. And so it's really it's it starts off really like sweet, and then you see the roommate, you're like, oh, it's gross. She and needs then, to get the fuck. And out. this is how fucking old it is. You know, there's a babysitter ad with the rip off. Uh, you know, like a little tear. I mean, it's yeah. 80s. Yeah, like yeah, 80s. tear one off and call us like, now. I say that like it's been a long time, but I feel like I've seen those like uh, re- like in the late teens still. I'm like, yeah. who the fuck is using these? Probably not now because you just push something with a QR code and like you yeah. do the work. But like even in the teens, I'm like, who the fuck is ripping those off? Like, yeah, I, but it reminds you, by the way, with that because she's like gives a number. But then, like, she's at a pay phone. There you go. That starts oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. And then, oh, and then they play phone tag for yeah. the rest of the day, basically. Yeah. Which is something that we don't deal with anymore. Like, no. Somebody trying to get in contact with you. You get, get in contact immediately. Like, but they were playing. They were, It was a phone tag across an entire day. Yeah. Yeah, of missed. Yeah. So. And who's calling her now? Tom Noonan. <laughs> motherfucker from fucking <laughs> Last Action Hero. And, but always. Oh, God. Original, original and Manhunter. The original killer. Like, yeah. Yeah, I just always think about the last time. He's like, "What are you yeah. here to do?" I'm here to kill. Uh, <laughs> Jack. So like, I'm like, wow, he's really a character. Like, he plays a fucked up preach preacher in uh, Hell on Wheels too. Yeah, um, for, I like, can see that. He's just scenes. he has a very like. Oh, he was on black, dry, he was on the blacklist too. Yeah, he just um, has yeah. such a dry fucking like yeah. like delivery. When I see him, I know it's probably going to be a solid fucking you know yeah performance. Um, for what for where, what he fills yeah. like the gap that he fills. <laughs> In, you know, and so they finally get in contact with each other, and she takes a job. Well, Greta Gerwig, because she's desperate. She's desperate. She wants to get this fucking money. It's for babysitting. Babysitting. Any money you can do. Babysitting. Yep. And so it's out in the middle of fuck all nowhere. Like I mean, bum fuck. Yeah. And it's this giant fuck gorgeous house. Gorgeous. Huge fucking, fucking house. Fucking house. Fucking we, we, and we see the interior throughout the movie. Yes. And basically, it comes out that you know they lied to her. Oh yeah, and but he, trying his, his to, approach is like, look, I know now that you're already here, <laughs> you and know, out in, the, out in the fucking boonies, you're already here. Uh, I said babysitting as in a child, <laughs> no, not necessarily. <laughs> it's an old lady. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, but you don't really have to do anything. We just need a person here. Which right out the gate is kind of like, yo, the whole thing's sketchy. And she ends up talking her way up to four hundred bucks. So that's how desperate they are. Yeah, because he's like, he, he she keeps going, no, 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 no. Yeah, you, you already changed a bunch of shit. I'm yeah. like, he's like, well, how about two hundred? She's like, no, 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 three. And then she asks for four, and he's like, fuck. And now right. remember, this money is going towards her place, and she yeah. fucking needs it. Yeah, and it's and like, Greta Gerwig. The, I forget the character's name, but she's just like, yo, we said if it was fucking weird, then we're out. This is fucking weird. It's a hundred percent fucking weird. But that's eighties money. That's four hundred dollars. Eighties money, yeah. four hundred dollars. Holy shit! Yeah. But so she takes what's, it. Well, what's genius about this is, is that you get that kind of like home alone situation. Though, you know, how many tropes in horror movies where you're in the home and you hear something, but with this, you're already set up because you know they've told you, hey, somebody's upstairs. You don't need to interact with them really, mm-hmm. but they're upstairs, so. Like, so you hear the steps and you hear the stuff, but you don't go to the instant like, oh my God, somebody's in the house. You're like, because you, you know already know in the somebody. House. And he literally says, yeah, she, I mean, she's fine walking around. You don't need to assist her or anything. Just somebody to be here. So like, you don't have that instant trope of like, who the fuck's here? Yeah. So I, every I, that, sing- was, that yeah. was really, I've never dealt with something like that. And every, it, no, hundred percent. Like every single noise you hear it, as a viewer, you're like, oh, it's just the. Where they literally have where yeah. she hears something. And she's about to go in the room, but she's like, nah, fuck it. And us as the, the viewers see the room and it's, and it's a bunch of dead bodies. It's a bunch of dead so it's the actual a real family yeah. that actually lives in the house spread out in a pentagram. It's a yeah. pentagram of blood on the floor. And the mom it was a mo- mother, father, and I think a daughter were yeah. all just kind of spread out. I'm like, holy fuck. That's why you don't go in the room. See, it's exactly. also a way to take just tell all that off. It's like she's in this room. You don't got to bother her, so it just stays unfound. And if we weren't sure if there was nefarious actions going on, her friend decides, fuck this, I'm getting in the car, I'm driving off, I'm going to smoke a cigarette, and you get where she's about to light a cigarette, motherfucker rolls up, bangs on the glass, and she's like, jumps, as you should. And he's like, hey, oh, I'm sorry, hey, it's all right, it's all right. Hey, oh, you need a light? Yeah. Oh, and this guy's name is, uh, so this, 
This guy just shows up out of nowhere, and he's like, do you think he's a nice guy? I'm thinking, like, okay, he works the fucking graveyard night shift. Because remember, there's that cemetery she pulled yeah. into. And you're like, okay, whatever. And then when he's just like, wait, you're you're not the babysitter? Blam! Like, like what the fuck? Within uh, 20 seconds. Oh, you're not the babysitter? And she's like, you- no, my friend. <laughs> like, I don't Darn. even think she got the sentence out before yeah. head explodes. Yeah. Like, she, he shot at her close range, right in the head, said, well, you're worthless. Yeah. Oh, yeah. dude, that was. Oh, you're, you're a, you were a witness. So you get that. And then honestly, we can kind of move along because there's just like key points of it's, it's a, a slow build her, film. It's a lot of her exploring the house, hearing the sounds, yeah, getting kind of creeped out. But, but like, it works. It works when you're when you're especially. All right, it needs to be quiet when you're watching this movie. I, I'll at least say that. Like the you need loudest to be, doorbell ever. No shit. Because <laughs> she's walking around and she orders pizza. They go, "Here's money for a pizza," stuff like that. She orders a pizza and like she's walking around. She's getting freaked out and like. I don't know what he did, but he cranked the fucking volume just on the doorbell <laughs> that it scared the shit out of yeah. her. Yeah. And, you know, the one thing I never got noticed, too, was that there was a van out there. Well, she came out and looked at it. She saw the van. She came out and looked at it, but, like, the van wasn't there when they showed up. Yeah. Now, I don't remember if they accurately showed what side of the house it was on, but you saw a pretty wide berth. You saw, like, three quarters of the house yard area, yeah. and it wasn't there when and they again, got there. I, I'm not going to try to geek out too much on the way it was shot. But she goes into this big kind of like upstairs room and it pans out. Out to the outside. Oh, dude, man. that's like some Amityville horror shit, dude. Yeah. No, like they did that. Remember? Just give that. me the scope. Yeah, Just man. Just give me the scope. How large it. this fucking house yeah. is and like how alone. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. But she uh, enjoys her so well uh, drug, drug pizza. The best well, one. she didn't. It, so, dude, why both times they had pizza in this movie, did they both did both times like one person said this tastes funny and the other person's like acted like this tastes funny. Yeah. They just have a thing against pizza in this movie? I guess so. Ty West, tell me something. Do you not like pizza? Bro. Pa- yeah, apparently not. Like, <laughs> right? I mean yeah. Greta Gerwig ate pizza earlier in the movie. She was like, Oh, oh when they're at the pizzeria. Yeah. That, that place right. looks like they're shit pizza. <laughs> <laughs> but where do you think they got this from? Yeah. Probably somewhere oh, uh not good. The pizza delivery guy slash dude that fucking kills her friend. <laughs> you know where he's from, right? <laughs> Uh, you're next. You're next. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I already didn't trust the motherfucker because if you watch You're Next first, and you're like, oh, what? that's the, that's the shitty fucking boyfriend yeah, that out, fucks what, him. Five years before, four years before. Yeah, just about four you're years. Next before. is 2013, right? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. funny enough, Ty West shows up, and you're next. next yeah, <laughs> he's, the, he's the first dude that gets killed. Yep. Oh, dude, that's fucking brilliant. Um, but yeah, drug pizza. Notice it doesn't taste good. And now we now we have a huge like in house noise that now she hears something, but she's starting to question it. Um, remember that she hears a drain. She hears water running through the drain. Yeah. After she like spits out her pizza and does. So again, this film is sh- this movie is shot like it was filmed of this time period. So there's like very fo- small score, very so small you score, hear, like- and there's focus on all the characters' movements. Yeah. Like we watch her literally rinse her mouth out like three times. Yeah. After eating like drug pizza. Well, and you get that like kind of fuck you where like there's the mirror, and you're like I'm a- I'm used to these horror movies. Head down, come up. Head down, like you're waiting for something, but nothing. Nothing, and that's why the slow build of this film, because it's only it's actually only an hour and a half. But like the first time you're viewing it, I remember thinking like, "Holy shit!" And th- but then it was over. Yeah, like because it's not a long film. But like now rewatching a second time, like I knew kind, I remembered the beats, um, and it all kind of flows a lot smoother. Yeah, with the with with it the second time, if that makes sense. So like. The stuff I thought was slow wasn't because you know there's an ending, and then you know you get to the last ten minutes and it goes into that's fucking what I'm saying. overdrive. Because once she gets drugged, it's like all right, she fucks fucks around and falls the fuck out. Because <laughs> you had her friend getting killed, and that's it for a while. Like yeah, that's it's the just, only. It's literally her walking the only, around the like, house, high violence, trying to call her friend, calling the cops, uh, thinking she hung up, and get a call back at the house. Realizing well, we get irritated, right? Yeah, like like all right. Well, make, next time, make sure. If, yeah, yeah. Like, you yeah, know, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. for emergencies only. Like yeah, no shit, bitch. <laughs> that's where the eighties too. You're just like if you call nine one, you're not like telling us we're gonna reprimand you right there on the phone. Well, yeah. hey, hey, this number's for emergencies. All right, fucker. <laughs> yeah, like, so, like, bitch, like, yeah, right. What the fuck? Why do you think I'm calling you? Tell it's your like, child dude, not to call this number, asshole. It's like, it's like Die Hard. Do I sound like a mortar of pizza? Yeah, exactly. The fuck, man. <laughs> so, uh, so she passes the fuck out, and then when she wakes up, oh, buddy, oh, this yeah, is where, this yeah, is where, yeah, where well, you're like, and the, I remember the first time I watched this, I was like, what the fuck? She's just in a pentagram, 
Strapped down. Strapped out, yeah. Fucking blood dude. all over the place. People in robes. And then witch. there's a fucking witch. Where the fuck did the witch I was come say, from? Now, is that who was upstairs? The you know, mother or whatever? Cause Well, was she just like hanging out with the dead bodies? I, I don't know. What the fuck? What was she doing? But she she looks fucked up. She's sucking on her toes? Yeah. Mm, She's got that kind toe. of like if you were like blur face. She looks like they use the same fucking makeup uh from wrong turn like two or three, whatever that f- fucking meme is from wrong turn. Yeah. Like literally, it's like they imposed that. I was gonna face. say the chick that gets attacked in Terrifier, but like with less scars. Like her face is kind of sunken Ooh. in. You Ooh, know, no, no, no. Uh, you don't dude, think the so? chick that gets attacked in fucking Terrifier? No, because this chick's face is smooth, which is but it's but like, like sunken in. It's sunken in, but like yeah. the chick in Terrifier, they're like her shit's hanging on by well, a thread. Her, her dude. shit's sunken in because it got ripped apart over. Yeah, so over there's like surgery. She yeah. looks like uh, anyway. She's fucked up. Yeah, let's it's just say up. fucked up. Yeah. This this witch is just she oh she looks like um Jennifer Argento's uh, Masters of Horror movie. I'll give you that. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, she's rubbing some blood on the tummy and then shoves some Satan bloody cum down yeah, girl's drink it throat. down. And she gets, right. gets the, a little bit in before yeah. our main chick's like uh like wakes up and is like uh no, I'm not drinking blood cum like <laughs> not happening. No. Sorry. This, all right. This Who is where the movie gets up? a little ridiculous. The movie Who gets tied her up. She breaks her fucking bond and scratches the witch, and the witch like howls like a little bitch. Yeah, and like, hold on, you're a witch. Well, yeah, and but we don't. Nobody likes to get scratched. I mean, bro, <laughs> I, I'm complaining about who fucking tied her down. Look, you, you got Tom Noonan. Yeah, I'm just saying you got <laughs> your whole satanic ritual. Double knots. All right, double knots. That's all it is. Double. She fucking yanks that shit out. Double like knots. double knots. Double like there knots. was, she wiggled her arm out. Bad job. If you're gonna do a sane like ritual. Double check your knots, all right? <laughs> and then she like stabs Noonan. Fuck, all right. The way Vic, I think the character's name is Victor dies, was actually pretty sweet because he had her ass, but well, she we, fucked with his eye. You got the eye trauma. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. was shocked that you recommended this movie specifically because there's no real bone shit. I recommended The Retaliators too. Yeah. But I recommended a Fulci puts, episode. Fuck she stick. Puts the fucking thumb right in like, that bitch. And oh, like, dude. It's like, and it's like quick and sweet. Like, eh, yeah. Like, God damn. All right. Yeah. Dude. But Ugh. then she fucks him up because like he's chasing her and he she fucking slashes. Why his throat. did you lean forward to shoot he, a gun? Yeah. Yeah. Why did you he lean forward? so far down that she's able to come you up have, and slash? His you throat. do understand projectiles, right? Like you have a gun. Yeah. You don't need to. No, well, not you, but I mean, like, you don't Well, you don't, but he, he did use a close up earlier, so maybe he's like, gun only works if you're, like, you know, up against a temple. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know, because he got way the fuck too close. <laughs> and, and that's a big knife. Yeah. We're talking Michael Myers size and slice. That was a fucking rad. That was rad. Um, And then. And dude, she, by this point, she's covered in blood. Other people's blood, some of her blood. And then when she runs the blood, downstairs, they fucking, she falls in her friend's it, yeah, blood. Yeah, they, they kept her friend there, and she slides across. Dude. And, and it goes from like... Oh, the way they show her fucking face. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you mean the... the, what, <laughs> the do you call that a face? Hole? Yeah, I don't really... Is that a Crater? face? <laughs> yeah, where's the face when there's nothing of the actual face? The yeah, it's just like... Ligament emptiness tissue. of, yeah... <laughs> You can see your brain. I don't know. Like, <laughs> Jesus. Like, dude, fucking hardcore is a motherfucker, man. But yeah, they were like, let's throw her here, blood everywhere. So, like, she gets covered in that shit. Like, straight up carry yeah. style, man. Yeah, dude. And then she runs outside. Nuna comes after her. He's the only one still fucking alive. Get to the cemetery and the eclipse. So, this, this is all centered around an eclipse. Yeah. And, and, um, uh, the eclipse is almost over. They're in the cemetery, and she ends up shooting. Well, no, no. She, he 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 pretty much says, you know. Oh, he says it's too late. Well, yeah, it's, it's already too late. happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like and like, you know, there's nothing you can do just, about just it. Let, just go with the flow. It's just already happened. Yeah, You've yeah, already yeah. taken that in the blood come. And right? then like she's like, oh, this has happened already, and she shoots herself with the fucking head. That was beast. I did yeah. not expect that shit to happen. Right. And you're like, like, all right, that's it. I was like, oh no, credits. No, no. But no. Then now, this this reminded me actually of like the ending to Carrie, where it just kind of followed you through certain things to end up on remember you went through like a big chunk of the hallway before it ends up on her right. this is one slow pan yeah into her room and then it does a thing where like the nurse after she pats her belly and says both of you yeah so apparently straight up so, like some antichrist rosemary. antichrist oh yeah satan himself which what no because antichrist is not satan it's the son of satan right yeah so yeah, yeah. he's he's a little kid yeah. so it's the antichrist it's yeah. like the omen shit okay that. i was curious i'm like a hey, antichrist no, nope. very like Rosemary Baby like ending where it's just like, yeah, yeah, you fucked, yeah, yeah. And then, but I love it had that other also had that seventies and eighties thing um, where 
it just went still and the credits rolled. Yeah. Like the Friday the 13th, early Friday the 13th films did that a lot. Um, so it was really, that was a really cool ending. I will say um, this film went hard when it needed to. Yeah. But you gotta be patient. Like you, you, but you gave me a heads up. That's a bit of a slow burn. I did give you a heads up. It's a slow burn. And much like we are also a slow burn, we'll give you our final thoughts when after we hear what's going on on the GUI network. In a world with too many reboots and remakes, two men will stop at nothing to make it even worse. Join Mike the Hobbit and Tondi as they play by their own rules while pitching new takes on some of your favorite and least favorite films and TV shows. What podcast would dare to bring this upon the world? This is Smack My Pitch Up. My name is Amy Bogard. And I'm Mike the Hobbit. And we are the hosts of Deeply Upsetting, where we use our expertise to answer your most upsetting hypothetical quandaries, such as what non-wigged animal deserves wings? And what body part deserves a secret mouth? Which cryptid is the worst roommate? These questions and more that plague you will be answered on Deeply Upsetting, available anywhere you get your podcasts and at GUIPodcast.com. Coming straight from the mouths of madness, I'm Lowdown. I'm F.U. Hunter. Do you love horror? We fucking do. So this is a podcast dedicated to all things in cinematic horror. We're talking movies, television, composers, special effects artists. We're going to fucking cover it. So if you love horror, embrace the madness. In a world of blockbuster movies, there's another dimension. The dimension of schlock cinema. Join us at Beautiful Disasters on a journey into the fringe territory of B-movie abandon. We review the flicks that are forgotten or underappreciated to give them a proper place in the annals of celluloid history. I'm the Groots. F you, Hunter. Your guides at Beautiful Disasters. Come along with us for a fun ride. May, May the, the schlock be with you. you. All right, so you can get all the shows that you heard on the trailers at GUIPodcast.com or anywhere else you get your podcast. But we recommend GUIPodcast.com because you can go to our links tab while you're there, and that's where our, go to our T public link, and that's where all the merch is for all the shows under the network. So much shit. Tons of shit. Spooky designs are up. I mean, they will be up for the rest of the year. We're officially I mean, into colder season. Huh, oh, yeah. It's great. It's 100%. Huh. And it feels like it's, it's a fall. People are like, oh, and it's cold. It's in the fall. I'm just saying, Bitch, it's like, fall. It's, shut it's, the fuck up. So it's hoodie season. I'm taking it. Hoodie Get season. Get some fucking hoodies with designs. Long sleeve shirt. Yeah, we have sweatshirts, too. We have long sleeve shirts, hoodies, and sweatshirts. All those Bam. are options. So love to see you rocking that shit. Tag Madness. Tag GUI Network. Do all that. Thank you. All right. This this survived the child block for me. Um, it was very enjoyable, but it's like it is a slow burn. Yeah. But it's hard when it needed to be. Yeah. And that really keep, like, if it wasn't for the gunshot at the beginning, I might not have made it in one <laughs> sitting. I'll at least say in one sitting. It's definitely, right? we always talk about, like, you know, have a bunch of people overwatch. This is not that movie. This is a you and other person, lights down, listening, ha- have that sound bar fucking cranked up so you hear everything, kind of interact with the movie. But it's not a people talking over their shit and you can kind of catch up. You want to just kind of watch this with another person and just, Enjoy the slow burn for what it is, mm-hmm. and that last ten minutes where it goes from like zero to a hundred in the insanity. Yeah, so, it, and like that's pretty much what it did. I, I mean, honestly, I, I've known about this movie for years. I've never checked it out. I kind of kicked myself. I was thoroughly impressed. And again, I you gave me the heads up, so I wasn't impatient. Like, all right, I'm, I got to kind of stick this Which out. Which I sometimes I wish I don't, I didn't because like I didn't have that exactly. But I love the movie. But. I love, like, I love, I love, it. I love X so much, and to see him take on a different movie and a different style of like kind of a homage to an, another part of the genre was really fucking cool. Like, I, I honestly, this this put Ty West a little higher up. Oh no, rank shit, yeah. Because now watching this and X, like he has an eye for and an appreciation for these movies from different. We well, did Pearl too. Yeah, yeah. You, never, I like, you keep mentioning eggs. You don't like well, I, Pearl. Pearl's good, but I, Pearl's not really referencing the horror no, no, movies no. of the 1930s. You know, no, no. no but what I mean is like he does. He he, he has really shown. Oh, some yeah. Cho- I meant look with Ty West in general. He has shown some chops. Yeah, and we're still waiting on Maxine, which is in the 80s. 
God, God damn. Like, Where's that fucking movie, man? Well, you know, writer strike, actor strike. You know, that's that true. That's true. So that, that I thought it was already completed. So I thought the I know the writers. I don't know about the actor. What I'm not I'm saying. No, I'm oh, saying I thought the movie was, was completed. Oh, yeah, apparently not. Or maybe because of restrictions, they use actors that are in the. Str- you yeah. can't release films. I think with maybe I don't fucking know. Anyway, this, this pass is for me. It. I definitely gonna, I'm gonna rewatch it. Um, I I just I really enjoyed the shit out of this movie. I, I'm, surprised yeah. I'm glad that. you enjoyed it, man. Because like this. Th- this movie is a solid go-to. Yeah, like if you want something chill, until if like if you want limited amount of psychotic, but when it goes psychotic, it's fucking bonkers. That's this is film. Like I, I don't want to feature this with like the Omen or again one of those like sixty seventy Omen or maybe, something like that. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. And one of the big things uh, that this film, the trope they used was like every you know. We grew up in the 80s, but it was more like the teenagers in the 80s and the young adults that experienced a lot of this with the whole satanic panic craze. Oh, yeah. You know, that happened throughout the 80s. Which he brings up at the beginning. He literally has, you know, in the 1980s, you know, the satanic uh, ritual, like people were getting. And I I like that little setup. Yeah, these are based off true events. The movie doesn't really hint towards that till you get to actual worshiping. Yeah, and it actually, and it talks about you know, and it's just a reference to the, the, the there was a rise in cults and yeah. all that in the eighties. So, um, you know, there's a lot there uh, in discussion with film and horror movies. Uh, is if you guys would like an episode on that, we would definitely make that a f- full length. We'd yeah. have a guest on for that. But if you're interested in hearing that, you know, let us know. We definitely love to set that up sometime for first second quarter next year. Oh yeah, um, that's always a good topic. It's a it's eighties Satan cults. I mean, that's just. There's so much there, and there's a couple of documentaries <laughs> that we could reference too. Yeah, there's so much. There's just so much there that you know. I just don't want to reference it and it'd be done. Yeah. For those that don't know, I know there was a movie called Satanic Panic that came out, but it's not. Yeah, that's, that's not. Yeah, not what we're not talking thing. about. We're talking about the social phenomena <laughs> that happened in the '80s. So, um, yeah, that's it. It survived for both of us. Fucking love it. Recommend it. Watch it. Own it. Fucking buy it. Do that. Like yeah. this. This. Like yes. This is an Iowa own film. Yeah, you know, I, I own the digital copy. I've seen a hard copy because I want. I, you know, I don't even trust. Even though I own the digital copy, technically, quote unquote, not technically. You want a hard copy? I want, want a hard copy. Want in that library? I don't trust the interwebs. Yeah. So anyway, all right, that's it. Thank you. Always, as always, hit us up at lowdownbrown.gygmail.com. And until we talk to you again, embrace the madness. Podcast.com.